morning guys how you doing today so today I got a little bit of a project I'm gonna work on this morning I have got some manure to clean out of our barn uh, up there at Dick's house the weather has finally cooperated here uh, and it's above freezing and I can actually get in there and scoop some of the manure now that it's not all just a frozen solid pack so we're gonna clean out the barn today uh, do a little bit of manure cleanup and uh, we're gonna take a break from this thing for at least the morning we'll probably get back to her this afternoon uh, but for this morning we got cattle to feed obviously as always and we're gonna do a little bit of manure cleanup and I got to feed around bell to some critters over at Rick's house Last couple days we have had some stellar weather in Indiana. Yesterday it was just shy of 50. The sun was shining, it was nice and warm. So I mean we can't beat the weather we've been having here. Now it is, you know, mud season as I would call it, or sloppy season with everything melting, but it's nice. The weather's nice, all the snow's going away. The cover crops are coming out. Once all the snow's gone and this weather stays warm, they're just gonna keep growing green as can be right now and they're looking pretty good once all the snow's gone and maybe it dries up a little bit I'll take you guys out there so we can look on look at them again check on the wheat see if any of this real cold weather had any effect on the wheat or anything like that but for now the weather's nice All right, guys, skid loader we're going to work with today is a 332 a New Holland skid loader. Pretty nice skid loader. It's only got a few hours on it. So what we're going to use to feed and to move some poop. Go ahead and get her fired up here, let her do some warming up. Got our bucket to go scoop some poop. Got our hay bale loaded up. Got the skid steer loaded. Got a Bluetooth binder there and a Bluetooth binder there. So we're good to roll. We're tied down. Let's rock and roll. This is why I hate this time of the year. Look at that. This is supposed to be a black truck, not a white truck. Man alive, I tell you what. Well, it's a sad day for the old girl. Hit 100,000 miles today. 100,000 miles. So now that we hit 100,000 miles, I think uh, I think we ought to just head to the dealership, trade her in. She's worn out. <laughs> nah, I'm just messing with you guys. Just barely even broke in. 100,000 miles on the old 6.7. Pulling like a dream. Got the sheep fed, the donkey fed. Put a bale out there. Now we're gonna go scrape some manure. Work on that project yet this morning here. It's about nine o'clock. Sun's out, it's shining, everything's melting. It's gonna be a sloppy, sloppy fest. But it needs to be done. We need to get it out of there. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get her done. Oh, Now before we start uh, scooping manure down there for the cattle, we're going to go ahead 
and come up here and feed the cattle. Uh, so let's talk about those cattle for a minute. So I know a lot of people are calving this time of the year here during all this cold spell. My hats are off to those guys that are successfully calving right now. Uh, but we usually calve in the April to May time frame. Just simply due to weather. We don't want to be out here in the cold weather trying to take care of these critters. Uh, the, long, the young calves and keeping them alive. So we have pushed back our calving window by a couple months. And it has seemed to work out pretty decent. And we're pretty happy with how it works. Yeah, so we won't be calving for another month or two here yet. But we're going to go ahead and get these cattle fed. And I tell you what, it is a sloppy, sloppy mess out here today. It is sloppy and it is only going to get worse. Holy cow, is it sloppy. You can see everything's starting to melt. We're leaving tracks. The back wheels on this feed wagon are pushing a bunch of water and mud. We're flinging mud up on the windshield. But uh, here we are. These ladies are hungry, I'm sure. And uh, they're ready for a little bit of breakfast. Come and get it. My food. Come and get it. Trying to feed them up here on the high ground a little bit just so we can keep the food a little drier then they're not stomping a bunch of it into the wet ground and ruining a bunch of feed so I'm up here on this top of this hill here and it's a lot more firm up here so I think it ought to be all right but the cattle are getting fed we'll go up and reload it now this blend here is a lot of sorghum there's some sunflower some peas some radishes uh, quite a bit of foliage came out of this is coming out of this bag because we're into the longer of the two bags now and we got a lot of feed left so all right guys here's what this mix looks like it looks really good if you if you, if you smell it, it smells good it's got a good texture easily digestible for these creatures for these critters Lanny's going to go ahead and load me up here, going to go bucket by bucket. And that's a nice bucket full there. Takes about six bucket loads to fill this wagon. So that'll be number two. So uh, if you do some easy math, that makes four to go, guys. Old Cat 416 putting in some work today. Well, there's a couple downsides, in my opinion, to feeding out of bags. Uh, one being that you kind of make a mess. Like there's feed everywhere just simply from when the wind blows. And we're on dirt out here. You know, grass is just a dirt lot. So we don't have concrete to scrape on. So we do lose a little bit of feed here and there. Uh, the wind blowing it out of there loses a lot of feed. Uh, another thing that sucks is we got to deal with that bag. So we gotta, we're got we constantly taking trips to the dumpster to uh, get rid of that bag. That's kind of a couple things that stink. Lose a little bit of feed doing it this way. we got to take care of that bag. But all in all, it's not too bad. All right, guys, I've decided that it is it is way, way, way too sloppy out here to be doing this. I need a big pusher tire or something. But uh, I went ahead and just scraped out a little bit for a couple areas for them to lay down if they want and cleaned out in front of the feeder. 
but we're gonna call it good. I mean, just from the big heat wave here, look at all this manure that's just ran kind of off the pad a little bit. I have to get some a little bit better drying weather and then we'll be able to come out here and scoop it up, but it is just extra sloppy out here today. So I'm just gonna give up. I mean, you can hear it just clink, 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 clink. It is extra sloppy in here. So we're gonna give it up. We're done, we're done with this. So I'm gonna kick these Holsteins out, back to the woods, and we're gonna call it good enough on the manure for the day. Come on, guys. Go the other way, come on. Come on. Let's go. I didn't say let's fall. Come on, guys, get out of this sloppy mess. Come on. Come on, guys, let's go. I don't want you guys to blow your legs out out here. Come on, come on, be careful. Let's go. Come on, everybody. Come on. Come on, number 10. All right, guys, let's go. Kicking you out. Come on, buddy. Everybody out. Now, when it got real cold out here, we went ahead and bedded them down in this side of the lean-to here on the barn. Uh, but with it being as warm as it is, as warm as it is now, we're just going to throw them back out in the pasture out here in the woods, as we call it. Let them be out there. But I'm done with the skid loader for now. It's just so messy and sloppy out here. That I'm doing probably I'm doing no good. So I'm gonna kick the bucket and call it good. Yeah, we'll pick this up on another day. Maybe if we get another good freeze this year, we can get in here. But it seems like we went from completely frozen to way too thawed out in a matter of minutes. But anyways, that'll do. We'll see you guys back at the shop. Guys, I appreciate you watching the videos. If you want, follow us on Instagram at Farming with Carp. Always plenty to see there. Uh, but this might wrap up this video here. Another day on the farm. A little manure work this morning, moving some bales, feeding some cattle, as always, uh, and then some planter work. So it's Quarter after five now, it's time to get out of here. Go drink some bush lights, support the American corn farmers, as always. So I appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you on the next one.